So in the last video, we created a table. In this video, we're going to insert some data into that table. And to do that, we're going to use the very famous insert into command. Now, any of you that have experience with SQL will recognize this command. It's one of the major commands in any type of SQL environment. So here is the SQL statement that we are going to use. And again, we use the insert command to insert data into our table. We have to specify again the table that we're going to insert that data into. Now here's the important part, the first part. We need to specify the columns in parentheses that we want to insert data into. And you will remember we created these in the last video. They're right here, the name and the address column. And each column inside these parentheses is separated by a comma. So if we had another column, we would have to put a comma here and add that column and so on. Now, next we use the keyword values. And this is the actual data that we'll be inserting into our columns. And these values correspond to our columns. So the name column will correspond to this placement right here. And we're gonna put in the name Mark. And then the address corresponds to this second position right here, where we're gonna put in the address. And again, we need a comma to separate the values. And those again correspond to the column. So it's pretty simple as you can see. And so everything is arranged perfectly. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this into the command prompt. And we'll just hit paste here. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And there you can see our query was okay. By the way, that's the lingo they use in SQL. It's always a query. So that's why we get this very simple message query okay. But that means all the data went in correctly. Now to make sure everything went okay, we need to use the select command. And we're gonna specify star here. That means we're just gonna select everything. And then we're gonna use the from keyword. And that basically just specifies which table we're retrieving data from. And in this case, of course, the table is user data. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And there you can see, look at that. We've got our first row. How about that? Now, one more point I wanna make. If you try to enter some more data here, let's say you try to enter in some other type of data and we put in Sarah or something here. This would actually throw an error because we only created two columns. We don't have a third column. So if we had a third column here, this would have been entered in too. But if you try to put a value in for which there is no column, SQL will throw an error. So I just thought I would let you know that. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.